This Desperato tutorial is about lithophanes. These are artworks created in thin material that can only be seen, like you can see here, when illuminated from the backside. The thinner the material, the more light can pass through, so this picture will be the result. Lithophanes are very easy to create using Desperato, and they will guarantee you many admiring reactions, as the effect is truly amazing. The process starts with Desproto. You will want to load a photo and convert the grey values to the z-heights to be machined. In this tutorial I will use this photo of my daughter's dog. Ok, let's start with Deskproto. For bitmap machining you will need a version 5, as 4.2 doesn't yet support bitmaps. For this tutorial I use the low-cost light edition which offers this function for only 145 euros. Desproto starts with the wizard, we will not be using it for this tutorial. It's about bitmap machining, so the first thing that I need to do, right click on the part, is add a bitmap operation. There I can choose the file to be used. We do not want to do 3D machining, which would need an STL file, so I will remove the 3D operation. OK, double click the bitmap operation. First thing I can do is browse my bitmap file. It can be any BMP, JPEG or uh, GIF file. And for this one I use a, my daughter's dog. Here it is. OK, I go for the bit or first showed you you the file here it is I go for the bitmap settings and one of the things is how large the picture uh, is gonna be I want it a bit larger than this 40 millimeters I want it 80 millimeters wide 60 millimeters high and most important are the Z values that you want to use. We have, uh, I will be using a 3 mm thick polystyrene uh, slab and we have found that the thickness needs of the material needs to vary between half a millimeter for light and one and half for black. So white needs to be minus two and a half millimeters. My slab is 3 mm so this will result in the half millimeter thickness of the material and black at minus a one and half will result in one and half millimeter material. Okay, I use a cutter. Uh, I want to machine it with a one millimeter ball nose cutter. However, that can't remove all that material in one go or it would take very long at least. So I will use a two millimeter ball nose and for the roughing I can select five toolpath per millimeter. Stamp size and distance, I take it the same and I call this the roughing operation. Okay, here we are. You can see the thickness is gone down. I calculate my toolpath and I zoom in a bit to show you what happens. Here you can see where it's white there's great depth and where it's black there more material will be remaining. Okay that was a roughing. For the finishing I just copy this operation with all settings and the only thing that I do is change the name to finishing. Oh finish yes and I choose a smaller cutter which is the one millimeter ball nose and also a bit higher accuracy 10 toolpath per millimeter go here we are uh, many red toolpaths make the roughing invisible so this is the finishing and here we have the roughing and in some areas like for instance for the teeth it should be possible to see the difference. Here is the roughing and the finishing goes deeper, shows much more detail. So you can see the difference right here very well. Okay, last thing I need to do is save the toolpath file in an NC program. I call it uh, doggy and it will automatically make two files. Number one for the roughing and 
later a number two will follow two files are needed because i have chosen two different cutters and my machine doesn't have an automatic tool changer here's number two okay when this file is ready i am ready to go to the machine Okay, here we are, ready. Remove the cutter. And we are looking forward to seeing the result. Because obviously the proof of the putting still is in the eating. We let it from the back side and see an amazing result. Truly a great picture of my daughter's dog. This complete project has been done using the Desproto Lite Edition, which costs only 145 euros. Also watch a video that shows how to create lithophanes on plastic pipe to be used as a lampshade.